kingdom of God. No. He said, the, the way to the eternal life is very, very narrow. And the way to the death is very broad. So we don't go to heaven like that. We come and sit in a church and go and do whatever you want. And when you die, everybody will believe that you are in heaven. It's a lie. It's the truth. It's a lie. It's a, it's, a, it's a big lie. We have Christians in hell. We have pastors in hell. We have bishops in hell. Some people have died and have gone. They have come. Aha, I have a small book. Pastor, uh, 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 he's a, 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 a Korean. He died and they carry him. Have you seen that book? Uh -huh. Yes, he, was a, he has a mega church. You see, I've seen it. Mega church. His wealth was about 150 million. He says he was proud. High class cars, about eight. Even when he come to church and they are worshiping, he, he's sitting down. Then he had a hardware pride project and died. And two angels appeared. And one says he, he's been doing things for Jesus. He said, Jesus said they should come and take him. Even that play, he was even uh, uh, arguing. So they hold him and they send, send him there. And Jesus said, I'm, I'm going to show you heaven and I'm going to show you hell. So when we come back, repent. They showed him hell. You say you, you have the book, eh? They showed him our CD. They showed him hell. Hell, we have Dickens there. We have elders there. We have, yes! Yes! Elders, bishops, pastors, Dickens, everybody! Yes. Now we are not. You, you 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 don't understand. If you if you fail to go to church on Sunday, he says you have viol violated the Sabbath. If he says that it, the one man did one man was in hell because Sunday instead of him to go to church, he was doing money. He was working, working. That's it. He, he's in hell. It's not easy. I'm glad you have that that thing. He is a, a Korean. He had a big church here. We say, we say when he came back, the first thing he did was all the, the powerful cast eight. He dashed every, everybody. <laughs> he gave it to them. You think the death of Jesus is, 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 is easy? Somebody that he did not do anything but because of you, you, you and I. He was beaten and accused, and then and then and then with a, a tongue of crown, put, press it on his head, and the blood was just coming. He hasn't done anything because of you and I. Was beaten, nailed him on the cross, lifted him up, put the sword on, on the and on the ribs. What water and blood came, and he shouted, "It is it is finished." And you come and sit here and, and go and do man, I say, I want mommy. And then you die, they say, go, 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 heaven. Which heaven? Which, which heaven? There were another seven Colombian youth. I don't know if you have got, gotten that one too. There were seven uh, Colombian youth. They were just praising and worshiping and praying. Jesus appeared and took them to hell. And took them to heaven. They also came back and said the same thing. Those of us we are, who are interested in entering to heaven, we have been hearing things. We are searching and we have been reading things. Hmm. You think it is easy to go to, to, to go to heaven? No. So you can't tell me uh, traditions is your tra tra tradition. And I'm no Christian, spirit filled Christian in Ghana can become a Odukru or Queen Mother at uh, Bronze something something or New York. It is not true. It's not easy to go to heaven. The pastor says every minute people are just tossing to hell. W only one goes to heaven. So he says one is equal to thousand. Thousand goes to hell and just one go to heaven. Yes, oh, he had the, 
but you are here, not, not your man. Pastor, if you read that tonight, you'll be shaking like this. Part big. Oh. The, the man said, the biggest mansion in heaven be, belongs to John Wesley. The biggest mansion in heaven belongs to John Wesley. He says in heaven, they have something like hen coop. They have mansion. They have different, different, different. Then he saw a pastor in that hen coop. He said, oh, this pastor, he was doing, he was giving arms. Why? He says, anytime this pastor will give arms, he will call people to come and kiss. So he received his reward here. Do you remember that Jesus says, when you are doing good, don't let, when your right hand is giving something, don't let your left hand. Yes. Don't joke with, don't joke with the scriptures. Every scripture, everything that Jesus said is working. So because of that, that the man is in heaven, but he's in a hand, hand cook. Yes. Uh, yeah, no, man, why? Yes. It's not easy. You think you can use uh, American Christianity to enter into heaven? I mean, at all. One person missed heaven because Sunday he was not going to church. He was making money. He go to work on Sundays. No. But, uh, uh, a member. He go to well, you ask him. You ask him. Maybe next time I'm coming, I'll print. I've been printing this. I'll print and come and give. I'll give you some for you to read. You you will cry three three days. My brother, my sister, to go to heaven is no, is not easy. It's not this. No, no, no. So you cannot. This is where you have a you have the opportunity to make amends here. The day you close your eyes, it's finished. If you go to the book of Isaiah, it says, worms will be your bed and worms will cover you. The man saw it. The bed were worms and they were, yes! As I said, this is Isaiah, it said, worms will be your bed and worms will cover you. He said they will be standing and their eyes will fall from their, their, their socket. Their tongue will be coming out. He, they saw all this in hell. And what, whatever he has said, he has put scripture. It's not that he was saying just like that. Scripture upon scripture upon scripture to confirm. Hmm. You tell me you are, you are African, so you come to church and still go and become a chief. That is one ever heard. Because the death of Jesus, is the only thing that costed God is sal sal salvation. Let there be light. God didn't pay anything, and there was light. Let there be firmament. He didn't pay anything. That was, it was there. Let there be this. It was only salvation that he gave. He paid. The Lord, everything that God created, it was free. Let there be this. Let there be that. Free. Only salvation. That he gave his only begotten son. And my uncle Nicodemus was wise. He's my uncle. He was wise. He said, No, the way <laughs> the Jesus is ministering, if he's not from heaven, he can say that even though I'm a, I, I am a bishop, a leader of the, of the Jewish, I won't go by day. People will see. I'll, I'll go night. Thank, thank God at that time, electricity has not come. It's a CTC cameras is not there, so you cannot see Nicodemus going to, 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 to Jesus. And my 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 cousin too, my cousin too was white, but the the, the 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 only thing is that height is not on his side. I'm I'm taller than him, Zacchaeus. He he he. he. Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> my brother, it's not. <laughs> It, heaven is not joke. Heaven is real. Hell is real. It's not joke. Oh. Your life, if you have a double life, stop. If you are leading a double life, stop. Because Jesus is coming very, very, very soon. 
If you are leading a double life, stop. People are in hell because they, feel they refuse to pay tithe. It's there. Adam. They are in he heaven because they refuse to pay tithe. And Jesus said, it is a command. I ask you to pay tithe. Why didn't you pay tithe? And they will bring, bring, bring the scriptures. If you have a double life, stop. Oh. Stop. Don't. If you are a child of God and you have a double life, stop. Because it is not easy. Hell is real. Heaven is real. Hell is real. Heaven is real. The deacons were in hell because they were always opposing the pastor. You ask him to tell you, yes. Anytime pastor talk, they oppose him. Anytime pastor wants to do this, they frustrate the pastor. So they are all in hell. <laughs> the deacons are in hell because my, my sister, my, my sister, can you give that CD to, to him? Uh, that elders and the deacons are in hell because they were opposing the man of God that God has placed him in their hand. They were opposing him. Every time they oppose the pastor, every time they frustrate the pastor, every time the pastor will give aid, they won't do it. Every time the pastor said they don't mind, they come to late, pastor will talk. They are all in hell. And they will quote a scripture. It, it's not a uh, uh, God will bless you. Oh, I see uh, your, your father's house. There are some. Your horns is there. And so, I, no, 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 no. And yes, I cry. So, if you, have, if, you have, if you have a double life in America, stop. If you have a husband in Ghana, a husband in America, stop. Choose one. Stop. Oh, yes. Because you are. You are, you are already there. Yes. If you have a husband here, a husband in Ghana, you, you have, repent. Repent at once. Double life. Stop. Stop at all. Stop because hell is there. Heaven is there. We, we are hearing things all. Day in and day out. A lot of people are having experiences. Encounter with Jesus. Jesus is so merciful. You know that, uh, that the, the Bible says, uh, Lazarus, the poor man, died. And he entered into uh, Abraham bosom. And the rich man died. And he found himself in hell. And he asked Abraham, Father Abraham, can you send the Lazarus to go to my father's house and, and warn them. Abraham said, no. Did they have Moses and the prophet to listen? But because Jesus is merciful, even though we have the Bible, we have the prophet, he still allow people to die so that he, they will see hell and see heaven and come back to tell us so that we can change. So you cannot be part of anything called culture, traditions, customs, as a, as a, a, a child of God. Those of you who are, belong to this, pull out. Because you do not equally yoke with an un, unbeliever. If you belong to those, pull out. And if you have written your name that you will be, go, go and cancel your name and tell them that you, you don't want to be part of it again. Why don't you look up to church? For a funeral, you have your family here, church. Everything, that's what we do in, in, in Ghana. That is what we, we do in Ghana. Our church is our family. Whether it is funeral, whether it is what, naming ceremony, whatever it is. Period. Adoring everything, church. Amen. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. 
Astaroth is in charge of all nature religions which are really a camouflage for paganism. Astaroth is in charge of all nature religion which is really a camouflage for paganism. Pagans, meaning you are serving idols, trees. Anybody who worships three, he thinks and behaves like a tree. Anybody who, who worships stones, that's how he behaves. He, be, he behaves like a stone. He thinks like a stone. So, these are paganism, and it is being perpetrated by Astaroth. So, no child of God has no business of going to your home, your hometown, your, your village to go and partake the festivals, Kundum festival. Here, you have everything. In New York, you have Kundum, you have Odura, you have uh, uh, Hawaii, every, every festival that they distribute in Ghana, you have some here. And that is where you see big, big, big Kaaba. Somebody's Kaaba sort. He, 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 he cannot enter. He cannot enter this, this, this door. So when he's coming and he goes to the gate, he has to do like this. Because if you do like this, you see, all this is, is world. Again, we are seeing. Look, even if God gives you 200 years to live, the 200 years will come. I'm telling you the truth. Even if God gives you 200, okay, I'm giving you 200 to live. The 200 years will definitely come. So here is not a permanent place. It's not our dwelling place. After you enter into eternity, either you enter into eternity with Jesus or you enter eternity without Jesus. Without Jesus means hell. And with, with Jesus means heaven. So this is where you have to prepare yourself. The preparation and, and everything takes place while you are alive. We don't have purgatory. It's a lie. We don't, it's a lie. No, Romans, they are all there. Pope, in, Pope himself is already there. He's a resident there. Ah, you think the other Pope re resigned? Why? He, said, he saw that near urban association. And they saw Pope there. They saw, they saw Michael Jackson there. Yes. So it's not a joke. Or it's not a joke. There is hell. There is heaven. We, we behave as if when we die, you go, it's, it's automatic. No. The Bible will tell, Paul will tell you, work your salvation with fear and trembling. Yes. So we have to be very careful. You come to church anyhow. You talk to your pastor anyhow. The deacons anyhow. Because you are in America. Okay. 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 And, and it's a matter of time. Okay. So please let us fall in love and stop culture. It's demonic. Highly demonic. This is what breeds witches and wizards. The breeding ground of witches and wizards is through these things. Culture, customs, traditions, etc. Et so you have no business as a child of God to be part of it. No. Paul said in the, in the book of Corinthians, he says, what, what, what part do we have with demons? What part did Christ have with demons? You, you don't. Okay, let's go. Uh -huh. All crop festivals are dedicated to her. Mm -hmm. Twins and firstborn are sacrificed to her. So where she rules, the people hate twins. Yes. A special offerings are white cola nuts, uh -huh. snails, white animals, and birds, which are sacrificed, either strangled or allowed to wander away. Uh -huh. She also delights in crop festivals like yams, plantains, cassava, marsh, and rice. So we have yam festival. Oh, uh -huh. we have yam festival. We have this festival. We have this festival. It is all in honor of Astaroth. 
So if you are a child of God, you cannot be part of it. Period. It's not about I'm from there. You cannot. You see, listen. The day you said yes to Jesus, you've lost your independence. You are, you are no longer yourself. I've been telling people, the very day I received Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior, I die. It is not me who is living now. It is Jesus. So you, can, you cannot come and tell me that this is what my, my, my they, do it, they do it in my home. Nobody even will come to me and tell me. Nobody. The very day I receive Jesus Christ, it is not I who lives again, but it is Jesus. So you can't do that. Because it is dangerous. The days are running fast. And we are extra time. Now, now the clock is zero. He has gone run out. It is just zero. Jesus can come at any time. Nobody know. I don't know. But I know that he's coming very, very, very soon. Put your hand together for Jesus. Uh -huh. She is the earth. Earth's uh, goddess and sacrifices are offered to her before she, any project is carried out on earth. She is claimed to be the earth goddess, as I see her, as I say for her, earth goddess. So any project, digging, digging a grave, they will pour libation. Buying a land, they will ask you to, to go with the money for, for to go and buy la, uh, drinks. Whatever you are doing, you have to pour lab, libation. Because he claims to be the earth goddess. Now, let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Let's start Jeremiah 44, 19 to 15. Jeremiah 44, 19. No, 19. I have extended it a bit. And uh, listen to what they said. Jer Jeremiah uh, 44, 19. Uh, we did nine, but this is another one. I'm reading from Jeremiah chapter 44, 19. from 19. And when we burn incense, now listen, or see, and when we burn incense to the queen of heaven, to the queen of heaven, and poured out drink offerings, and poured out ugunza uh -huh, unto her, unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her, uh -huh, and pour out drink offerings unto her uh -huh, without our men? Without our men, it means the husband knew what their wives were doing. Maya, or, or more power. The, the husband knew what the women were doing. Uh -huh. 20. Then Jeremiah said unto all the people, mm -hmm. to the men and to the women, mm -hmm. and to all the people which had are, which are given him that mm -hmm. answer, saying, mm -hmm. The incense that ye burned in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, ye and your fathers, your kings, and your princes, and the people of the land, did not the Lord remember them, mm -hmm. and came it not into his mind? 22, so that the Lord could no longer bear because of the evil of your doings and because of the abominations which ye have committed. Therefore is your land a desolation okay. and an astonishment and a curse without an inhabitant as at this day. Amen. Amen. Then go to Jer uh, Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 18. Reading from Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 18. Mm -hmm. The children gather wood, mm -hmm. and the fathers kindle the fire, mm -hmm. and the women led their dough uh -huh. to make cakes mm -hmm. to the queen of heaven, mm -hmm. and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods, that they may provoke me to anger. So if you do that, what you are doing, you are provoking God to anger. If you do that, you are provoking God to an anger. As a child of God, you cannot pour libation or go near where the heathens are serving their demons in the name of culture and festivals and traditions and custom. Or you go there in the, in the name of tourism. You go, and, you go and visit demons in the tourism. You go to Himfa, Himfa Mountains. When you go there, they have to pour libation before. You can't do that. You can't. It's abomination unto the Lord. A child of God, stay away from. You have no business going there. Stay away from these things. 
stay away so that you and your children can serve the, the Lord. Now, you've started a generation whom you know after all. You've given birth to them here, or you brought them there when they were children, or you've given birth to them here. here. They don't know your hometown. Don't be sending them there. They don't know what they, they, they do there. Don't tell them that they are, they are from Africa, so they have to behave like African. What does African be, 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 behave? African name will be heavy then. You don't do that. If you do that, you will destroy the, the children here and destroy everything that you have labored to build. You need to build a successor. Very important. So that they can take over from you and continue. So you don't introduce your children to demons. You don't do that. You don't send your, cho your children to your, uh, your Ebushmi Penny or your auntie or your village to see your children. They, they have no business seeing your kids. They didn't, they didn't give those kids to you. It, 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 don't go and give an account of your, ch your, your children to them because they, they haven't sent you. Other than that, you will find out that the problems that you face, your children will also start facing them. Some of you, God has blessed you with a, probably a house in a big city like Kumasi or Accra. But still, as soon as you, you, you get to Kumasi, you are you forced to go to your village to go and show yourself that you have come from America. Then when you come back and there are problems, then you'll be blaming them. Yes, Mao. You see, at times I don't understand. Nobody has sent you. My house is in Adenta. That's where I'm from. That's, what I, that, that's it. That's all. I have no business going to anywhere. Because, you see, if you are not strict and hard, as an African, you can't please God. Oh, yes. And there is heaven, there is hell. And there, they don't, they don't receive excuses. Once you have failed to make heaven, you, you'll be there. Be crying. And, and they said once in a while, Jesus will come to the hell. And, and people will be, will be crying, Lord, have mercy on me. Jesus, have, have mercy on me. Then he will tell you, he, Jesus will stand there and cry. And he will do like this. And the blood will come and say, I did it for you. Why? Yes. He said, and Jesus will be weeping. I did it for you. I didn't create this for human beings. Then he will show them the palm, the bleeding, the blood. I did it for you. And they will be screaming. They will be screaming. They will be screaming. Then Jesus will turn. They will be cursing him. Then Jesus will turn. It is late. He will turn. And because of the pain, they will be cursing Jesus. You will read the thing and see. He said, I did this for you. I came to this earth. I died. I gave you my, my word. I left the Holy Spirit here. Why? Then he will be, be showing like this to them in hell. And blood will be flowing. Oh, eternity. Where hell? Eternity. Uh, that is the, it's the second death. Eternity. Those, they are there. I don't, eternity. Da, like, like, like if you go to heaven, it's da and qua. Down, when you always hear, Dad say, Dad. It's not easy. You don't, don't joke with this. Don't, don't joke. This is the opportunity we have. Make amendment. 
Go and leave that boy either here or in Ghana. Choose one. Leave that woman. Make a man. You, you are not the Samaria woman. That you'll be having five, five uh, 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 husbands. You are not a Samaria woman. Because it's real. Heaven is real. Hell is real. Yes, so organize yourself well. For you don't know the, the day of the Lord. Every day we are getting closer to God. You die, you, uh, you sleep, you get up, you are getting closer. You sleep, you get up because you are, you are growing. You are getting closer. So every day we are getting closer. You sleep, you get up. A day has, has added into your, in, into your years. So we are getting closer. Every year we are getting closer. Every year we are getting closer. So this is the time. This is the time. So we don't have time to play around. No. Continue. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Sacrifices are offered to her before any project is carried out on earth. Uh -huh. Whether farming, digging a grave, standing in a bush, laying the foundation for a house, or harvesting a crop. Mm -hmm. She is in charge of ancestral worship. She is in charge of ancestral worship. Astaroth is in charge of ancestral worship. The black stews and the different type of stews that is in the family houses, uh, he is in charge. So no Christian, I repeat, unless such a person is religious, R religion will not take you to he heaven. It was religious leaders that killed Jesus. So Religion is a curse. So, it's not religion. That no born again Christian filled with the Holy Ghost can become a Odukuro or a king or a queen sitting on a black stool. Then, no way. No, 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 no. Uh huh. So all libations, divination by color and chalk, calories and sto or stones are from her. She's also the fertility goddess as queen of heaven. She's also the fertility goddess as queen of heaven. He has learned the secret. Okay, go ahead. Mm. As queen of heaven, she claims she's able to give children to the needy. Most of the children she claims to, be, to give are either stolen ch children or outright demons. Her possession of, of the fingers gives them extra sensory powers and enables such possessed people to be masters. These masters are often centers of demon distribution for demonic vices and characters are rubbed into the unborn child. The marine spirit, witchcraft, and other spirits are transferred this way. Yes. These hands pollute everything they touch. Amen. Sh yes. They, he claims he can give uh, children to the needy, which is lies. This morning, I told you an experience. If you are a Christian and you are married, two years, three years, you haven't had a child, don't worry. It will surely come. That the Bible says, in his time, he will make all things beautiful. But don't go to herbalists Traditionalists, native doctors, witch doctors, natural healers looking for a child. You are finished. Don't do that. I know there will be pressure from your mother-in-law, but this is the one of the manipulation of uh, as, as sort of so that you you run and start looking for a solution, and 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 by so doing you fall into the hands of these demons and they will just mess you up. Mm -hmm. As goddess of the earth, she has acquired from Lucifer the secrets of the herbs and she gives these to her selected ones to become healers in order to win people to her. She thought the human race out to poison one another. You see, so you cannot be going to Kabbalists. You see? So you cannot be going to Kabbalists, native doctors, 
and say they, they, can, they can heal you. No, you cannot. Astoroth is there. You cannot. I have somebody who is not a Christian. If that person is born again, we have no problem at all. Because herbs is there, and we are supposed to eat them and use them. Yes, but these natural healers and herbalists and native doctors, they call up spirit. So you are not saved. They are agent. So if you go there, you, 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 you'll be destroyed. You don't have to go there. You don't even have to. Trust God. Amen. Uh -huh. Incense is burnt unto her. Incense is burnt. Incense. Incense is burnt up to her. Uh -huh. Astaroth is represented by the moon. Astaroth is represented by the moon, the symbol of Islam. Another name of Astaroth is called Allah. Allah is not a god you think it, it is that. Astaroth is represented in the uh, Islam as moon. And so, Allah that the people think it is the almighty God is not. It's Astaroth. Uh -huh. At the new moon, the, At the, blood, new moon uh -huh. the blood of pagans and moon worshippers fired. Uh -huh. They come together, sing, dance, drink, and commit all sorts of sexual sins. Mm. Libation is poured to her on the earth. That's right. Unless the Muslims see the new moon, they, they do, not, do fast. not fast. Unless the Muslims see the new moon, they will not fast. They will, all, they will fast when they see the moon. So you see how Asarov is really disturbing a lot of people. Uh -huh. Asarov goes by many names. Now I'm going to mention some of the names that he has. Then you would realize, you, you, you will know why some group has come up and they are fighting with the, the, the Israelites. As, Astaroth has a lot of names. And uh, one, go Sibel. 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 The, go the goddess of the greens in ancient Rome. Uh huh. Irene. Irene. If you the have goddess of peace and responsible for settling dis disputes. The goddess, of, the goddess of peace and responsible for setting dispute in Greece. It's called Arine. If you have, if you, if you have that name, change it. If I, if I give me your name, Arine to your Arine um, um, to, um, to to Bahat. If you, if you, if you have Bahat, if you give, if you have some, who is called Arine here? Yes, Arine. Arine. Is it you? Uh, uh, he, she doesn't come to church here. Abash is here. Uh, okay, uh, Arine. Did you hear? Say she's the goddess of <laughs> what? She responsible for settling. She's the she's the goddess Greece. responsible for settling dispute. And then what? Shang Mao. Shang Mao. The holy mother of China. The holy mother of China. Shang Mao. He's, he's the, the same astrologer. Nidim Bebre. Nidim Bebre. Shang Mao. The holy mother of China. Uh huh. Diana, prostitute goddess of Ephesians. Diana. Not Diana, but Diana. You know, we have Diana. It's not Diana, but Diana, Lady Diana. Lady Diana. He's the prostitute of what? Prostitute of Ephesians. He's the, uh, yes, prostitute of Ephesians. Diana. Uh -huh. Rhea. Rhea. The, Oli the Olympian mother of gods. The Olympian mother of gods. Uh -huh. I see. I see. The mood goddess of India. The mood goddess of India. Venus. Venus. Goddess of sexual love. Go goddess of we we used to have some cream called Venus. Even goddess of sexual love. Uh huh. Isis. Isis. The mother goddess of Egypt who possessed and controlled Nefertiti or the Rosicrucians. Spell the Isis. Let me see. I S I S. Do we have some group like that here? Uh, a fight Egypt. They are from they are they are from Egypt, right? 
Repeat that, that again. Uh, Isis. Isis. The, the mother goddess of Egypt. The who, mother goddess of Egypt who possessed Nefertiti. You know, Nefertiti was the queen of Egypt. Isis from India, uh, from Egypt. Uh -huh. A 17th and 18th century movement devoted to esoteric wisdom with emphasis on psychic and spiritual enlightenment and Freemasons. Isis. Holy Mary, mm -hmm. mother of God of the Roman Catholics. You no, know, if you are there, you won't go to heaven. In the first place, Roman is not a, a they say they are Catholics. Roman is not a church. So how do you become born again there? Already the Pope, one leg is here, one leg is here. This one leg is there. So you cannot be, you cannot go to Roman and say you are a Christian. They call themselves Catholics. They say they are not Christians. They are Catholics. So you cannot. Some people don't want the truth, but that's what we say. I cannot lie because he there's hell, there's heaven. You lie, you, you go there. You can, you can never, you have to come out. Those who are serious and they love the Lord, they come out from Catholic Church. Steve Mensah and his brother, they came out. Form, form their own church called Char Char uh, 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 Charismatic Evangelism. Something, something. They came out. You cannot be in Catholic and say, I'm saying, with, with God, Maria Congro. No. Do like this. No, 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 no. Jesus is not on the tree. They will always carry cross with somebody on the tree. They say, no, you can't do that. Uh, Astoroff is there. <laughs> now, nah. Because as uh, Astaroth is there, Islam and Ro Roman, they have so many things in common. One, the Islams were there, gone. The Roman Catholic priests were there, gone. Two, the, 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 the Islam will come and say, Allah, Akoba. Uh, Roman will come and say, Amen. Islam. Islam, Islam, Islam has the Tarasba, Roman has the Rosary. So what are you telling me? A lot. <laughs> so you say you are Roman, Roman, whom are you serving? Dead saint. Baby, you can never be a Roman and, and may have a, a child of God. You, you, no, they don't serve Jesus. So how do you, in the first place, how do you become a Christian? There is heaven, there is hell. Make your decision now. Asarov is Roman Catholic. Islam. So they are one. Some, uh, uh, somebody will say, <laughs> Our for Mother Teresa, he's in heaven. Look, let me tell you something. If somebody is a thief, like my brother is here, he is in the world. He's an armed robber. And they killed him. They said, oh, you know, by now he's in hell. Said, yes. Why? Because he's an armed robber. No. It wasn't that armed robbery sent that person to hell. It was rejection of Christ that sent him to hell. Because he didn't have Jesus, that's why he went to hell. Not the armed robber. So, so, so if you don't have Jesus, no matter what, no matter, if you like, come and give everybody money here, you go to hell. We go to hell because we have rejected the son. God loves sinners, so he did not go to hell because he is a homosexual, but he went to hell because he rejected the Savior. That's why we are in hell. So he, Madame Teresa is in hell because he rejected Jesus. Hey, Madame Teresa, because he rejected Jesus. She did not have Jesus as her Lord and personal Savior. So if you like cut her head 
for somebody you still go to hell. He says, he who has a son has life. He says, whosoever believe in him, he will have eternal life. But who does not will perish. So don't be deceived and start making people who are in hell saint. Oh yes. The, 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 qualification, the qualification is give, receive Jesus as your Lord and personal. You see, if you are not sure, when I finish, I say, come to Jesus. Yes, come. If you are not sure, it is better than to think you, are, you have received Jesus. If, if you, you are not sure, when I finish, if you want to rededicate your life to Jesus, I would, I would do it. So that if maybe you have you are, even though you are a, a, a Christian, but you, you are keep, keep, keeping two husbands or two wives, or you are doing kalabule here, or you have been sorting the pastor, you rededicate your life to Jesus and come clean. I, every week, two weeks, I dedicate my life to Jesus. Every two weeks. Just to make sure. Paul said it. He said, pray for me. He said that after my pre preaching, I don't become an out, outcast. Preaching does not qualify me to go to heaven. Oh, yes. That is a point. So, Teresa is in hell. Now he will know. Ah, well. God also gave you a long life still. He who rejects the son has no life. You did no life at all. But if you have Jesus... The day you stop your, the day you stop your your arm rubbing and say, Father, I have sinned. I've been sinning. I'm, that day, everything has been forgiven. You see, in in heaven, they don't they don't they don't they don't call up people's past, and you can see it in the New test, 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 Testament. If you go to the Old Testament, they will tell you, and Abraham. Uh, took uh, Sarah's maid and he did this and he, he married Keturah and he did this. If you go to Old Testament they will say and David took somebody's wife and he counted this and he did this and he did. When we come to the New Testament you will see that I say Abraham is the father of faith. They, they, don't, they don't talk about your past. Abraham is the father of faith. David Jesus is the root of David. King David. They don't talk about what he did. So in heaven, they don't talk about past. As soon as you make heaven, no. So if you confess your sins right now, when God forgives you, he forgot about everything. He, has, he doesn't even remember. That's why dedication is very important. And if you are not talking to somebody too, then please, for as soon as we leave here, go and talk to that person. Very Im important. Yeah, bitterness. Oh, she will, he will give, she will give you that thing. Forgiveness. My goodness, it is the most serious. She will give you. Have you for forgotten that Peter, I don't know who I know Peter. I don't know what somebody did to Peter. And Peter was not, he was fed up with that person. So he needed a license. You know he was a, a fisherman. So he needed a license from Jesus to go and tear him apart. Jesus, okay, if somebody do something, how many times should we forgive that person? He needed a license here to pounce on that man. <laughs> and Jesus said, 77 times 7. He said, ah, when you treated him. <laughs> so, Pastor, for forgiveness is the key. Unforgiveness will land you in hell straight. Ah, Jesus said, when you, you stand to pray and you forgive those that have trespassed you, so that your Father in heaven will also. If you don't do it, your Father in heaven will also not forgive you. 
So forgiveness is, is key. If you are here and you, 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 you have bitterness against people, release them. Release them. Bitterness, unforgiving spirit, anger, release them. Yes. Please don't have more anybody in your heart. Yes. Hey, yes. You have to. <laughs> yes. You have to forgive your wife. Your wife has to forgive you. Forgiveness, it's across board. Yes. Else, straight. Because the Bible talks about that. You know, they ask Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? And he says, love. Love is the greatest commandment. So don't have, but that is my strength. You cannot get me angry. You, you cannot. To harbor you in my heart, I don't have that. I'm too, I am too tall. I don't want to become too tall again. I can't, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Bitterness and anger and unf unf unforgiving spirit, it brings high, bre high blood pressure. It brings this, it brings that, it brings this, it brings this. So the person, so the, so the person will be walking like this. The thing is weighing him down. I'm here, my heart, Mrs. C. Unforgiveness. Yes. So please, please. Forgive everybody. Forgive everybody. Yes, but you have to do it. You have to see, if you love Jesus, you will do it. And I love Jesus. I, I am a symbol of for, forgiveness. I forgive the judge, forgive everybody. I go to them, they come to, to, to me. They say they have, they have never seen such a man be before. You see, if you, because our master says we should do it. Jesus said we should do it. We should forgive so that he, our father in heaven will also forgive us. So when he was teaching his disciples how to pray, he says, forgive those who trespass us so that our God will also forgive our trespasses. And you see, Everything that Jesus has said, you may think is small, but when he gives you that tape and you, you, you read that, every single word that came out of his belly before he left is as serious and as important than every word. Yes. Yes. So please, you need to forgive. Forgiveness. You need to forgive. Oh, yes, sir. Then you go your way. No murmuring. Don't, don't mistreat your pastor. Hey! It's a serious problem. It's count six. If it is your license, they'll give you a point more than 100. You won't be able to drive again. My brother, it's not easy to go to heaven. Though. Yes. Uh huh. Madonna, known and honored among the lovers of Madonna, art. Madonna, known and uh, uh, honored um, uh, among the lovers of art. Ma Ma Madonna. Uh. Queen of heaven. Uh -huh. Jeremiah 7 18. I think we have read. Yes, that. we have, yes. Apart from the moon, she is represented as a beautiful woman mm -hmm. carrying a child. As a pregnant woman, the fertility door and cows. As a natural demon, she is not invoked. She but is only appealed. She is a universally worshipped demon because of the earth. She is a thief and robber, claiming the earth which she has not created. No Christian owes her any allegiance yes. because Jesus has overcome her on the cross. Yes. You have dominion and authority over her mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Put your hand together for Jesus. Oh. So you see, <laughs> there are times.
as, as is OEC. How many of you uh, belong to those uh, groups, uh, the festivals? And today, if you wrote a letter to join, when you go home, resign, write another letter, and then, then said, I'm not part of it again. You don't, you don't need to go to unbelievers' meetings. You don't have to go there. What, do you owe some, somebody? I tell you, you don't have any chance. You are, do you, by force, do you owe somebody? Why should I get up and go to, because I'm an Asante or I'm an, a North now, when they are meeting, I should go there. For what? If they are not meeting in the name of the Lord, I have no business. If they are not meeting in the name of Jesus, I have no business. Because he has, he has told me clearly that where two or three are gathered in my name, there he is. So if they are gathering, and the gathering is not unto him, he is, he, is, he, he is not there. So why do you have to go there? So change. Okay, let me take about two, three qu 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 questions, then uh, you will. Uh -huh. Let me take uh, three. Uh, three. Uh -huh. Let me take three, and then we will just pray. We have in Christianity. You say what? Uh, the festives we have in Christianity, Easter, Christmas. I was looking at the background of those things, and it's like it has pagan roots. Do we have to? No, oh yes, those not ones? Easter. Easter has no pagan root. But yeah, you see, even though it may be, it may have something, but we have turned it into worship. You see, Christmas, we come to serve our God. Christmas, and the world also have their own. They go to clubs, they commit all sorts of sin. Sin, But we, we come to serve God. We have Christmas service. We have Christmas at time. You do revival, and then watch night. So, it is not bad. So, you see, the world is divided into two. Christians and the, and the, and the others. So, it is the others who do so many things. But when it comes to when it comes to Easter, Easter is solely the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh. Uh. I can't hear you. Praise the Lord. Where are you? So please um you have to forgive somebody when they do something to you. 70, seven times seven. <laughs> now, all that, uh, the Lord is saying that don't harbor, no matter how many times, don't harbor bitterness, don't, don't, I forgive that person. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Bishop, my concern about the worship, the day we worship, uh, it is in the Old Testament that Sabbath, Sabbath, Israel worship on Sabbath, which is seriously on the day that Saturday, they don't do anything except doing the work of the Lord by being in the house of God. Then when it comes to ours, the Christianity started from Rome and we worship on Sunday, especially Sunday like today. And it's like we can do anything that we want and come to church. But when we go to the Bible, I mean the, the Ten Commandments, the only thing God said we should remember is the Sabbath, that the day, the day they should worship. It means remember, remember me, don't forget. Remember and worship me on the Sabbath day. So when it comes to ours, we worship on Sundays, and say like we do whatever we want. So is it good that we can we can do anything we want in Sundays? Now, as for whether Saturday or Sunday, I think it is not issue. The issue is that if you are worshiping on Sunday, do you go and make money or do you come to church? That's the issue. Uh -huh. So the issue of probably. Sunday and Sunday, well, some people can decide to say they, they worship on Saturday. There's no anything about it. Some people also can decide that they will worship on Sunday. That one too, there's nothing wrong about it. But 
whether you, 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 you choose Saturday or Sunday, that partic particular day, you must give it to God. Like I said, I wish that he would uh, show that this thing for you to see. Some people were in hell because they did not observe that particular, uh, that Sabbath, either Saturday or Sunday. Sunday, they were going to work. They were making money. You, 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 you understand? So, the day is not all that important. Whether it is Saturday, whether it is Sunday. But once you have had, had one day, uh, you've, you've dedicated one day to go to church and serve God, then it means you have agreed with him. So that, that day, you have to observe him as such. Amen. Okay. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Me I I don't understand <laughs> 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 I, want to, I want okay. to interpret for the honest shit to mm. those who don't understand what she said. Okay. That um, <laughs> she was asking the bishop that you said um, our kinship and all those things are idol worship. Yes. So if I belong to a, a royal palace hmm. and I am obliged to go to the house on certain occasions where they have to pour libation and they will mention my name. And she, she said she comes from the um, Ashanti royal family. And so she has to be there at certain occasions. Because the mother is there. Because the mother is still living there. Then she has the bishop. Is it right for me uh, not to go there because I have to? And bishop said it's not compulsory. And even if they have to mention your name in pouring libation, you can tell them I am out of this. I don't want to be part of it. Finish. That's oh, you're by force. Uh -huh. Oh, I hear ya. Okay, na nipa. Moya sa okay, mumumra, mumra, motun. Mumra, 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 Bra, Bumajina, why? Mumajina, Hana Moya, Betina, why? Mumajina, Hana, yeah, I don't know, allow them, yeah, we allow them, yeah, or more allow them, so that we're near very important. Very, very important. Hey, I own a banana, no. Now, Machira, a biwamba, Machira, a dog, Machira, dog. Mechira Sanchoa Marine or Marine Jezebel. Messi Yatafroa, Uba impotent or barren. Mechira, I'm so one by the ya, the tape, you know. And Babanana, one by. Okay. Bishop. Aha. Aye, aha. Go ahead. Have you ever been sick? Sick means like headache, uh, fever. In yes, a, yes, system. yes. Have you ever seen a doctor? Yes. Have you ever been issued with a prescription? Yes, go, yes, go and buy code. Okay, good. Uh. Before the white man came to Africa, <laughs> there were no 
darkness. Mm -hmm. There were no prescriptions. Mm -hmm. And still people got sick. Uh -huh. They went to their farms to uh -huh. do farming. Uh -huh. They had snake bites. Uh -huh. They had all kinds of diseases. And yet, some of them, the major of them, were being healed. That's right. Somebody who was a herbalist, and still is a herbalist, went to the bushes, grabbed that leaf, that, that, that other leaf, that tree, that back of a tree, mingled them, drummed them together, and said, take it as a portion, and they became well. What do you say about that? I've already told you that not all of them. I said, we have Christians who are also in herbalists. They go like we are saying. Now listen, maybe he may not have anything. That person may not necessarily be serving idols. No. He may do this for some reason. God in his inf inf infinite mercy. He can let somebody do this and do that and do that. And it will be, it will be clear. You see, but somebody who you go there, you know he has. He consult, he consult and say, bring forward and say, bring this. That's what I'm talking about. But she got in it. No, some herbalists also do. Some herbalists, they, they can also do it. Okay. Okay. Christian, <laughs> Bishop, my question is, uh, you said we should, uh, we should observe one day to worship God. No, no, he was trying to make an, a case out of we worshiping on Sunday. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He says some peop people worship on Saturday, and he, she believed that the Sabbath is Saturday. Yeah. That's what I'm saying that uh, for Saturday and Sunday, it shouldn't be an issue. We have chosen to observe the Sabbath on Sunday. So on Sunday, we come here to serve God. Now that Sunday, then don't we make money. Come and serve God. But this is a country whereby if you go and fill up applications or everything, mm -hmm. they will say, if you cannot work weekends, Well, Saturday God knows Sunday, that uh, there will be a country called America. They will, people will fail and say, but he still says, Sunday, observe it. He knows it. God knows everything. Before that, America will come. He knows that there will be a country here, America, and you will come from Ghana, and they will ask you to fill forms and work on Sunday. But still, he said, observe my Sunday. Sunday, give it to me. Come to church. So if I go and work and make money and come and worship him, it's okay. Well, that one, I don't know. But the point is that Sunday, you need to serve God. Uh, probably that's why this church and their wisdom, they have first service. So that those who don't go to church in the morning, they can come here and serve Jesus. And those who go to uh, work in the morning, in the evening, they can also come here and serve God. So they have been able to solve that problem for, for you. So you see, you didn't come in the morning. I didn't but, come out. Uh, so you've come you, to, okay, but some of you didn't come in the morning, but you are here. So they have made a provision so that you don't lose that. So if you, you are not able to come in the morning, you will come in the evening. Thank you. But do you pay tight? Pay tight. Oh. Ah, okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> He said he wants to know if Valentine's Day is what? He wants to know if Valentine's Day is from the God of Astro or from God. And is it good <laughs> for Christians to celebrate No, Valentine's you see, the wisdom in Valentine's Day is that 
if you allow the Christians, especially the, the youth, that Valentine's Day, they may be tempted. So that Valentine's Day, it is better for a church to also organize to prevent the people from uh, getting a lot of condoms. So, so, so Valentine's Day, uh, that, so Valentine's Day, a Christian come to church. It does not do anything. You are even helping your, 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 yourself. So if the church is organizing something on Valentine's Day, not because they believe in Valentine's Day, but for your own safety. Not because they, 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 they believe in that, but to occupy you so that you don't be tempted outside. You are beautiful. If you are not very careful, Valentine, Vono, Ebe Valentine. So you come here, then you serve your God. By the time you go out, the day is over, and you were not tempted. Nothing happened, and you go back to work. So it's a way of, uh, not, not, like I said, not, not that they believe, but it's a way of preserving and protecting the members. We, we, on Valentine's Day, we do programs. The reason why we do programs, not, not that we, we, we believe in that, but we don't want our, our members to go. So the only way to, to get them together is to organize as a program. Amumi ni na na mutayo, mutay mutayo. Yo, okay. Question, Bishop. The question is this: You say it's for safety. Me no, mumba che. Obi oha, obi tibi aywa. Ube ube ni papa o. But obi be ibu bi a na ubu be unti na na bi bi ase kadi e bom. Aya sa, enfa mono. Because aya sa ube yobi papa na odi boni be tibi awo. Enfa mono kura seventy seven times seven. Bompire Mano. Right. The question borders on, uh, on uh, forgiveness. She said sometimes somebody could hurt you so bad you want to strike the person with something. And I say she shouldn't. And Bishop said she shouldn't do that. Yeah, but you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bishop, my question is that I heard if I heard you right, you said we should take ourselves out. You said we should take ourselves out from the society and the, uh -huh. the groups. But we find ourselves in a country that um, if you don't have such groups, so let's say something happens to you, especially death, you need your people to come and support you. And you are saying that we don't have to mingle with them. Oh, so now death has become <coughs> an, a business. So that, so that you have to have belong to a lot of people. Because that no, time, the business daddy, money. You see, if daddy, you do it's that. Not, it's not only death, daddy. Our people have a saying that. Nipa here, nipa. Yeah, but. Uh, I but know that church is there. But yes. Sometimes, if you don't have those people and something happens, the church expects that your people should come first. Which people? Your, your, your relative should come uh, first. So now, and if I'm here and I don't have a okay, relative. Okay. Then what you have to do is that mm -hmm. I think this church should reorganize the way they see things. That's how we do in Adenta. When somebody dies, we take the coffin. We take the mortuary. The shroud, everything. Now, when we finish, the children, we give them money, we give them money. So, anybody who will come as family family member, they will sit afar. Whatever they have, they can also give it to the the, 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 the children. But we do the most important thing. So you can assume that. But in in Ghana, we have welfare. Every month, each member pays a particular amount towards that welfare. So if you, you are welfare, if you pay, the church itself has a welfare before extra welfare. So if you don't, you are not in the welfare team, what the church gives to everybody will be given to you. But if you are a contributor towards the welfare, after the church has given you about $1,000, the welfare that you also pay, you, may, you could take about $4,000, $5,000. Isn't, 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 isn't fine. So there's no need to any those No, so you can care. you can adopt that. You can I think a Reverend uh, 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 Eric could teach you. We have welfare. Uh, the church has a welfare for its members. That is the, the, the church responsibility towards a member. So whether you are in the welfare or not, when you, you lost your mother, your father, the church will give you money. 
Now, apart from that welfare, we have another welfare again that, that some, some yes, according to your purse, some pay uh, 50 Ghana, some pay 20 Ghana, some pay 10 Ghana. So as you are paying, when you lost somebody, we will give you with an interest. Because the money is working. Uh -huh. we, we, didn't, we don't want to do to, to happen like we are saying. That's why we, we, we've tried our best to prevent this. So you can introduce welfare things here. After, uh, uh, whatever the church will give you, but you have to pay extra. And this money can be put into a bank or some, something, some money that will be generated. But when you are paying, the, you, the church should say, we are going to contribute this for two years. So you, nobody qualifies apart from two years, after two years. So if you have paid up to two years, if you pay today, tomorrow you don't pay. The friend that you pay, you won't get anything. It has to be every month, 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 every month. Every month. Thing is the moment spirit that is fighting because if we are saying for they pay a lot. No, I'm so just no, I'm they, just you can also pay a lot. So if you want Christians to. are rather paying to them, and when you ask them to pay in the church, they don't. Well, I have come to tell you that there's hell, there's heaven. So I will hand over the mic to Pastor to take his tithe and offering and everything, then I will come back again. Amen. Put your hand together for this. What are we telling him? We are because of time we are receiving our tithes and offering. For your information, the pastor went to hell because he didn't pay tithe. Tithe is your proof of your obedience to God. If God used the word, bring ye all tithe and offering. Tight is a proof of your obedience to God. It's easy for you to tell people not to fornicate than to tell people to pay tight. Don't fornicate, people will obey. But pay tight is hard for people to obey. There are benefits when you're obedient unto God. God blesses you. Tight is one tenth of your weekly earnings. It comes, the benefit comes in so many ways. You are protected from accidents. God rebuked the devourer out of your field. The Lord show you mercy. Favor locate you wherever that you set your feet. God protect your children from sickness. God guide you, your outgoing and your incoming. And he fill your bands with laughter. Tight. That is one tenth of your weekly earnings. God bless you for coming. We'll call Minister Tony to come and pray over the tithe. Father, we want to thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your exceeding great promises. Thank you that your word runs so swiftly. You tell us in your word that we should prove you with these tithes. That you open the windows of heaven and rebuke the devourer for our sakes. Your people have obeyed your voice. Because your word runs swiftly. Lord, I pray, let your word, let your promise run swiftly on their behalf. Anything, oh God, that their heart yearns after. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, grant it unto them. Give them the treasures of darkness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord, let them be blessed even beyond their expectations. That they will know that indeed you are a God who fulfills your promise. We want to thank you. We want to worship you for answered prayer. 
In Jesus' name, amen. before we leave. We are receiving our offering. Don't call it even an offering. Pick it as a seed. And let's pray over it. Father, in the name of Jesus, you said, whatsoever we sow, we shall reap. Father, as your children are seeding into your ministry, into your word, we cause that you also release fruits and harvest into every area of their lives. Let it be a turning point. Let it be a time of increase. Let it be a time of multiplication. Let abundance find them and let favor show up in their lives. We soak it in the blood. We call it sanctified for your use. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we be up on our feet? We are coming from the back. Ushers, please bring them in. The Lord is good and his mercy from the back. The, the Lord is good and his mercy is forever. From the back. The Lord is good, is good, and his mercy is forever. The Lord is good. The Lord is good and his good. assembly man in charge of the neighborhood that we are he has a very important 
information for the church. And let's call on those men to come and introduce him. Then after that, wait for us. We have a series of programs lined up that we really need to make the church known. Besides that, get yourself ready. If you have any pledge that has not been redeemed throughout the program, get it ready. We shall call you that you come along with it. Especially if you take it, as well as those who pledged last Friday to support the $50 concerning the man of God's departure. Hallelujah. It is not every day that we are so lucky to have government officials to visit us. And I have told you many, many times that BBT is stretching out and we're going back far. The log is on on the internet. We are there in the papers, in the medias. And I'm, I'm so glad that the government officials are also beginning to see us. This evening we have in our midst the 86th district assemblyman. And these are the people that we complain to who takes our troubles and our complaints into the higher levels. People of God, join me as I welcome Victor M. Pichado, our senator, assemblyman from the ATC district. I will be quick this evening, but again, I just simply wanted to uh, thank uh, the leadership here in the church um, and wish the bishop traveling mercies as he goes to Ghana. Um, and again, I'm, I'm Assembly Member Victor Pichardo, and the most important thing I can say tonight to you is that I work for you. I'm your elected official, I represent you in the State Assembly, and I work for you. So if there is any issues, complaints, concerns, yes, please applaud for that. If you have any concerns or issues, um, I encourage you to call or visit my office. I will be leaving information how to get in contact with my office um, before we go. It's at 2175 Jerome Avenue. We have constituent affairs hours from Wednesdays through Fridays, 10 a.m. in the morning to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. If those hours don't work for you, you could always call 9 to 5 Monday through Friday, and we will work around your schedule to make sure that you have time to come in visit us and have your issues resolved. The last time I was here, it was a couple of months ago, and we were talking about, yes, I'm sorry? That's right, I came to the morning service a couple of months ago, and we were talking about the issue of universal pre-K, and how it was important to have our young ones have access to quality education from a very young age. I'm incredibly happy to report tonight that we were able to secure $340 million for New York City to make sure that this program works. So if you have, please apply for that. So if you have a child that's going to turn four years old or is four years old already, I encourage you to enroll them. And if you want some more information about the Universal Pre-K program, which is absolutely free, it will not cost you a, a dime, and it will help your child set the path for a good education, a solid base, so they are able to uh, eventually start a, uh, when they grow up, have a family and have a, a strong foundation, um, not only in, in, in the Lord, uh, but also in, the, in, their, in their lives and in their homes. So I encourage you to come by my office, get some more information about the program, and please, that's what we're here to do. And also, not only were we able to help the young ones, we were able to help the seniors by keeping them in their homes with exp uh, expanding the SCREE program, which is a senior citizen's rent increase exemption. So basically, if you make $50,000 or less, you're over the age of 62, and not on any other type of government subsidy program like Section 8, you qualify for SCREE, which basically effectively does, it freezes your rent. So folks who live in my district, for the most part, will be able to apply for this program. And again, it freezes your rent. You'll never see another rent increase again. That is if you're above the age of 62. For everybody else, you can apply for renter's tra tax credits, through your state taxes, which I encourage you to do that. 